How's it going class? This is ITL 528, week one, post number one. The prompt here is how do you create a classroom environment conducive to learning? It says here, the first bullet point, your narrative must include actual or potential methods used. Okay, so what I would do if I was getting to know my class in the first two weeks of school, I would actually, because of the, the technological climate that we're living in, I would give students some kind of, uh, not really assignment, just a, a, an opportunity to, to introduce themselves, you know, using a camera just like I am now, you know, answering different questions, where they're from, where they grew up, uh, what sports they like, just figure out what their in interests are, what kind of foods they eat, um, who their favorite athlete is or movie star is, what do they do in their spare time, what's their favorite subject in school. Uh, so that way, you know, once we break out into actual lesson planning, for me, my subject matter is PE. You know, if we're, if we're doing a unit on volleyball and something that's big in PE is teaching games for understanding. So that looks like if volleyball is played six on six or five on five, teaching games for understanding would be, you know, to strategize, um, to simulate an in-game strategy, right? But it's like a game within a game. So we we maybe do three on three, maybe use a, you know, a smaller ball, something of that nature. But if I have that initial information about each student, I can group students better. Um, I can make sure that, you know, maybe a, a, an introvert is paired with a student that is more outgoing um, so that, that maybe the quiet one can learn something about self-esteem and self-confidence from the other one. Um, and, you know, maybe I gather that, you know, so-and-so is a different athlete or, you know, has a, a baseball background, you know, then I can, you know, properly match these kids depending on, um, you know, what sports we're learning or what, what movements we're trying to, to emulate. Um, so this, the second few bullet points here say practice or strategy builds connection between you and your students. So that'd be the video. Um, routine that gets students on task with their learning. Describe each example. So yeah, that's kind of exactly what we just talked about, right? So, you know, the information of understanding the students' funds of knowledge and using those funds of knowledge to help lesson plan, um, to pair them better. You know, it's better for not, not only their, their physical part of community or um, their physical attributes in PE, but also their social and emotional attributes. So um, let me know what you guys think and um, I'll see you on the, the Zoom session next week. Thanks.